Hey, what is going on guys? This is DJ Clown Smasher and today I'm bringing in Bad Boy. Jay Moore for this attack. He's actually going to be explaining how to do this dragon attack and what he's looking for in a base and why he attacked this base this, the way he did. So now we're just checking out the base. So welcome Bad Boy. Thanks for tuning in. Hey. Hey DJ. <laughs> Alright, so I'll go ahead and let you get started. I have the base pulled up. Let me know if you want me to click on certain things or, or what you want me to do. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> you can see that the the four areas were very close to each other. To each other, mm -hmm. I thought I could easily work them out. So that's all. You look in a dragon attack. You need to take down it is as many as you can easily. And the queen was was pretty easy to do on this base. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So I planned on starting the queen work from six o'clock and work her towards nine o'clock. Okay. So, she, it was an easy walk basically, I just messed up a little bit and I was not able to grab the AD in the Queen and Barbarian King in, uh, compartment. But she got three ADs for me and still I was able to get the job as dragons are OP. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So what do you look for in a base usually? So I know that you're looking for walkable ADs or, or all of them close together. Yeah, most probably I'll just look uh, if they're easy, easy to walk. Okay, so that's just the main thing when it comes to the queen walk dragon attack? Yeah. Okay, sounds or good. Basically, there is, yeah, there is another version of this attack. It's a, basically a clone bone where you use uh, two heroes to suicide for two, he two ADs mm -hmm. and then clone bone the other two ADs. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure we'll have to, we'll get to that one eventually because... <laughs> You're, you're, you and um, Rakib are pretty good at that attack as well as Ashpack, so we have some good 10v10 guys. Um, so we'll go ahead yeah. and... Do you want to go ahead and start with the replay? That way we can check it out and just kind of talk through it. Yes, yes, please start the video. Alright, so 3, 2, 1. I just dropped a visit so she doesn't walk towards right of lock, right side. Mm-hmm. So I noticed that you didn't drop the healers at the very beginning. Was it just to um, have the queen start everything going at first? Yeah, yeah. I just wanted her to do her thing. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah, and it's not like she really had to deal with anything at that point. Yes. Nothing was hitting her, actually. That was a loon to take down that mine, so that my healers stay alive. Mm-hmm. Was this a fresh hit or was this a, was this a second hit? It was a fresh hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Even better. Fairy ball breakers. Yeah. Sometimes you just never know how many to bring. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried sending in four dunes to take down, take down that AD. But that didn't work. <laughs> mm. Oh, I was almost there. That air sweeper just ruined it. Yeah. See where I use my barbarian king? Uh huh. It was important so that he covers some, you know, air targeting buildings for my dragons. Gotcha. So just to kind of take some hits and also help with the funneling. Yeah, right. Infernos were pre pretty far away from each other, so I got a good value from that healing spell as well. Mm, I see. So you place the healing spell before getting to the second part. That way they're fully healed, pretty much. Yeah. And raids to take down the Inferno and the rest of the buildings. Mm -hmm. Wow, you overpowered this base. <laughs> Five dragons yeah. left, pretty much. So many dra yeah, six dragons, maybe. Three. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Five. Nice, great attack, man. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to say um, about this specific attack, or anything else you would have done differently with this attack? Um. 
all I could have changed was if the infernos were close to each other, I would have, I wouldn't have bring in the heal spell. I would have brought in another witch to just keep them raised up and speed them up. I see. So if infernos were close together, just a rage spell instead of the heal. Gotcha. Was yeah. Um, so is there any, like, I know that you brought a dragon in the CC with three loons. Um, would you ever change that at any point or is it mainly that that's your go-to CC? That's my CC. I won't change it. Okay. Nice. So keep that in mind, guys. So dragon CC with a few loons and just pretty much creating that funnel, getting that queen walk taken care of, and then the king just to take some hits and helping out with the funneling. Awesome, well good stuff. Bad boy, thanks again for helping me out with this because I'm not really a 10v10 guy, so definitely still learning on that. <laughs> You're welcome, mate. And I'm sure we'll be hearing back from you soon because I know that you have some pretty cool attacks like that mm -hmm. um, queen walk charge with the Laloon portion. So I'm, yeah. sh I'm sure we'll be yeah. seeing that soon. Yeah. All right, well thanks again, man, for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.